Hello and welcome to MML Gaming HD. I'm MML Oraculum and I'm going to be showing you how to use the chroma key effect or as some people call it the green screen effect. Now what I've got here is a picture of a Pikachu with a red solid background. It is very important to use a solid background when applying the chroma key effect otherwise the effect will not work properly. So to find this effect you just click the modify button which is just above the timeline then this loads up this window so to enable chroma key you just tick this box here then that will turn it on and then you press this button to actually select what color you want to remove from the image so if I click the red which is actually my backdrop that will get rid of it and if it's got a bit of if there's a bit of the edge still there just turn up the tolerance of intensity and that will remove that so that looks alright to me so you click save once you're done and that will place it in the image without the background anymore. Now obviously this is just a, a photograph that I've taken but this will apply exactly the same way to a video. So what happens if you don't have a solid background? Well I have a video here to show you that. If I click modify, enable chroma key and select the blue that I've got you can see here it does remove most of the blue but not all of it because there's actually different shades of blue because the lighting is not consistent. Even if I turn the tolerance up you can see it actually digs into my face. So it is very important to have a consistent colour in your background. You can see that looks terrible. So things you want to remember when using the chroma key effect yourself is that it doesn't actually matter what colour the background is. I know it is called green screen, but you can use red, blue, yellow, just as long as you're not wearing the colour or it's not the same colour as your hair or your skin, otherwise it will pick it up in the chroma key. And then also what you want to remember is to make sure that lighting is consistent. Problem with shadows is chroma key will pick that up as a different colour, because it is, it's a different shade showing up on the screen. So make sure you've got an even spread of lights if you are using lighting. Now also make sure there's no creases in your backdrop, otherwise that will cause shadows that will show up on the video. You may not notice them yourself, but they will be there and chroma key will highlight them to you and you won't be able to apply a good looking chroma key effect. So overall it is very simple, especially in PowerDirector. And I hope this video has helped you and we will be uploading many more tips and tricks for you to make better videos, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching.